Hey everyone, Alexander with DIY and Utah. Uh, this is going to be part four of the series where we are actually going to start programming the map. Um, so we got the map plugged in, we got everything buttoned up on the back. I just got some temporary cardboard just to kind of hold everything together. Um, we got the kickstand glued on. Um, you can see the hub in the back. So if you look on the back of the hub, um, I'll put the address, there's a specific web address where you can log in and you can program it. So if we reference the previous video, we got our instruction booklet out. And so we went through and we have all our airport codes. And remember, number one is going to be the one closest to the hub. Number one is closest to the hub. Then number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way down through 25. Um, so we have all that. Get that set back up. Um, so now what we'll do is I'm going to switch over to the computer and actually show you how to program it. As you can see, it's this checkerboard pattern with the blue, pink, red. Obviously, this is not the real airport weather right now. We haven't hooked it up to the Wi-Fi. Um, so this just means that it's in pairing mode. Um, so if you get this pattern, you know, when you first start it up after you got everything assembled, don't panic. Now's the time where we're gonna program everything and get everything um, set up. All right, so now it's time to program the map. Um, so with it in that pairing mode, you should get this DIY METAR setup network, either on your laptop or your phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. We're connected. So now we're actually connected to the map. And then I'm gonna go to this address, 192.168.4.1. And this is going to be how you program it. So if we come down here, we're gonna put the network name. So this is my home network. Um, we'll put the password, we'll put the airport codes, we'll put the brightness, um, I recommend starting off at 20. And then the max crosswinds until it turns yellow. So um, I'm a private pilot, single engine piston, I have a Piper Comanche. So my max crosswind component in my POH is 17 knots. So my personal maximum right now, I'm a newer pilot, I, I just put 15. And that way, if an airport has winds greater than 15 knots, it'll show up yellow on the map. If you don't want this feature, you know, you, you, you just don't want it. You can set it something like 50 and then it'll only show up yellow during a hurricane. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then so over here, as you can see, previous uh, airports that I've coded in, we look at our list. So we're gonna type the first one in. So what is that? First we're gonna turn caps lock on. So K S R Q comma. And then our next one is St. Petersburg. And then so you're just gonna go all down the list and you're just gonna enter all your airport codes, and this is how you program it. Okay, once we have all our airport codes put in, we're gonna go down here and we're gonna click Submit, and then we're gonna walk over to the map. Okay, and now we're going to wait for the map to program. 
So it takes about 30 seconds for the data to move over. All right, so it reset. It's gonna go through the test cycle. Okay, and then pink means it's trying to connect to the Wi-Fi. So it can take about mm, usually 30 seconds to 60 seconds for it to connect. All right, we got this light down here, which means it connected to the server. Now it's downloading the weather. And voila, live weather. So every five minutes, it'll hop on the Wi-Fi and it'll download the weather from um, uh, weather.gov. And it'll refresh. So I just want to say thank you for following along with the build for us. Um, so as you can see, this is a 24 inch by 36 inch map of Florida that I made a couple weeks ago. It's doing really good. And then um, this is actually going to be a gift for one of our CFI friends. And you can see, um, you know, just kind of the size difference, try to get some ideas. Um, so this kit, so this one is the 50 light kit. And then this is the 25 light kit. And then we also have, you can pair, um, sorry, not pair, add on an additional 50 lights. So we could add even an additional 50 lights on to this one for 100 lights. Um, and those are all available in the store. Um, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to contact us. Feel free to send us pictures of your map. We'll add them to the gallery. Um, thank you, and we appreciate all your support. Have a good day.